Hello, my brothers. Hello, my sisters. Another beautiful, blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now, just to give him the thanks right now, just to give him the praise right now. And always and always give Jesus the glory because he deserves it all. We wouldn't be here right now today if Jesus was through with us. We wouldn't be here right now today if Jesus said, I am finished. You don't have no story to tell. You don't have no testimony to tell. You wouldn't be here right now today now, would you? The reason why that you're still here because Jesus is not finished with you yet. He is not finished with your story yet. He is not finished with your testimony yet. He is still working some things out. <clears throat> he is still fixing some things together. He is still lining some things up in our life. So every day, when our Heavenly Father God breathe life inside of us, I say thank you for another day. Thank you just for the day, Jesus. Thank you for not giving up on me. Thank you for not walking out on me. Thank you for not closing the book on me. Thank you for not closing the door on me. I want to say thank you, Jesus. 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 I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you. Because of you, Jesus, by your stripes, my sisters, my brothers, even myself, we are healed right now today. And I want to say thank you. Father God, I repent of my sins to you right now today because we all are sinners. Father God, we're coming to you right now today in the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth. Please forgive myself. Please forgive my sisters. Please forgive my brothers. Please forgive my young brothers and my young sisters today for our sins today, God. Please forgive us for any wrong thing that we've done. If it was not pleasing towards you in your eye, please forgive us. If it was not pleasing towards your heart, Please forgive us, God, because we are sinners. We do fall. But, Father God, I say thank you for forgiving us right now today. Father God, wash us clean right now today, Father God. Purify us through your blood, God. Father God, that's what we're going to continue to do. Repent to you each and every day, God. And Father God, I want to say thank you for forgiving us. I want to say thank you for watching over us. I want to say thank you for protecting us. I want to say thank you for shielding us. I want to say thank you for guiding us. I want to say thank you for directing us. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I want to say thank you. Without you, we are nothing. But with you, everything is possible when we believe. And we believe in you, Jesus. Despite and the difficulties we are going through and facing right now, we are still trusting you anyway, Jesus. We are still holding on to your mighty hand right now today, God. Father God, as we lift your name up high, as we praise and exalt your holy name, because you are still on the throne. You are still performing miracles. You are still performing wonders right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, you have your way in this house today. Father God, you have your way with us right now today. Father God, you touch every last one of us right now today, Father God, because you know exactly what we are going through. You know exactly what we need, God, and we know that you are able to come through. So, Father God, we don't have to see it to thank you. We thank you in advance, Jesus, because we know that you you already done it, Jesus. We know that you already worked it out, Jesus. We know that you already fixed it for us, Jesus. So we thank you. We thank you. We thank you in advance. That's why we thank you the way we do. That's why we praise and lift your name on high the way we do, Jesus. Because there's nobody like you, Jesus. And we want to say that we thank you. We praise you. And we worship and glorify your holy name in the mighty mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And he is so worthy. He is so worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. And before we get in, into today's word, can we please go over the, the Lord's prayer? Amen. Amen. Can you please turn your Bibles to Matthew 6? And we're going to read verses 9 through 14. That's Matthew 6, and we're going to read verses 9 through 14. If you have it, let the church say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread 
Forgive us our debt as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For if you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their sin, your Father will not forgive your sin. And that's how you pray, my sisters. That's how you pray, my brothers. That's how you pray, young brother, young sister. That's how you pray. That's what Jesus expects us how to pray. So he gives us a, a demonstration how to pray. Amen. Glory to God. That's why I love him so much. That's why I need him every day in my life. Every second, every minute, every hour. I don't know about you today, my sister, my brother, but I can't do it. Or I can't make it without Jesus. I can't do it or neither can I make it without Jesus. Some of you right now today, you think that you can do it all, do it all by yourself without Jesus? Go ahead. I guarantee you that you're going to fall slap on your face every single time. And a lot of you right now today, you thinking that you can do it without Jesus. You think that you don't need Jesus' help. Jesus always has to be in the midst of everything that you're doing. He goes before you, he stands beside you, and he walk, he walk with you. If Jesus is not in the midst of your marriage or your relationship, it's already don't crumble. If Jesus is not in the midst or in the front of your business or your ministry, it's already crumble and collapse. Jesus has to be first place at all given time. You got to allow him in. Stop shutting the door on him. Stop closing the window and open it up. Say, Jesus, you have your way. I can't do it by myself. You got to keep it real with Jesus. That's what Jesus like. He like honesty. Let him know. Say, Jesus, I'm having a hard time right here. I feel like sometimes, Jesus, that you that you forgot about me. I feel like I feel like that you left me alone by myself in this race, Jesus. I feel like that you left me alone all by myself in the storm, Jesus. I feel like that you left me alone all in this wilderness, Jesus. So, Father God, I've been crying at your name, but yet the only thing I hear is silence. Father God, I don't even hear crickets. I don't hear a sound. I don't even hear a pen drop. Jesus, where are you? You gotta let them know how you feel. Gee, that's how I feel right now. I need you right now. You've been quiet. You've been silent way too long. Father God, been crying at your name, hollering at your name. I need you right now. My sisters, they need you right now. My brothers, they need you right now. We need you quick, fast, and in a hurry, Jesus. Father God, you know exactly what we're going through. You know exactly what we're up against. We don't know how much time we got left, God. But Father God, we need you to touch us right now. We need you to come and show up and show out in our life right now, God. Father God, how much longer are we got to go to go through this pain? How much longer are you going to torment us, God? How much longer are we going to suffer? How much longer are we going to struggle? How much longer are we going to go through this pain? How much longer are we going to go through this hardship, Jesus? Didn't Job ask you that question? You even asked your father that question. Father, why, how, why did you forsake me? You even asked your own father that. So, Jesus, we're asking you the same thing. Have you forsaken us today? Have you forget, forgot about us today? Are you overlooking us today? Are you are you can't are you got a deaf ear towards, towards us today? Because these are the things that we're asking you right now today, Jesus. We keeping it real with you, Jesus. We're being honest, Jesus. We speaking from the heart right now today, Jesus. We know that you everywhere. We know that you see everything. But Father God, listen to our cry. We need you right now. And I believe and I declare that you are coming through right now today. With full force. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> and before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father, God, this came. Thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I came, thank you enough for this anointing word, for this beautiful, blessed message, God, that you spoke to me today. I just came, thank you enough for the air that we're able to breathe right now. I just came, thank you enough for the food that you have blessed and prepared and put on our table, the clothes and shoes that you have put on our back. I just came, thank you enough, Jesus, how you provided. I just came, thank you enough, Jesus, how you making the way out of no way. 
I just can't think enough, Jesus, how you still covering us, how you still watching over us, how you still protecting us. I just can't think of the Holy Spirit that is moving through us right now today. I just can't think of the angels that is joining us in praise and worship right now today. Father God, I just can't thank you enough how you touching us right now today, Father God. I just can't think enough, Jesus, how you moving mountains on our behalf. We don't even, we're not even aware of what you're doing right now. Thank you, Jesus. I just can't think of your words, God. I just can't think of your promises, God. I just can't think of who you are, what you have done, and what you are doing, Jesus. I just can't think of Jesus, how you lifting us up right now. I just can't think of every open door, Jesus. I can't think of the door that you have closed. I just can't think of our blessing. I can't think of our breakthrough. I can't think of our deliverance. I can't think of our anointing. I can't think of our double portion. I can't think of our more than enough. I just can't think of our hearts that we are reaping this year, Father God. I just can't think enough, Jesus, because you're doing a new thing in every last one of our life, Jesus, that is faithful and committed and loyal loyalty to you. I just can't think enough, Jesus, that you allow myself, my brothers, my sisters to have a seat at your table right now tonight, Father God. I can't think enough, Father God, we let you know that we are available Right now, Jesus, to thank you, to praise you, and worship your holy name. Father God, I want to say one thing. I just can't thank you enough. 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 Good God Almighty, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I worship you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I shout and I exalt your holy name the way I do, Jesus. Jesus, from my heart, from my soul, for Father God, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. Hallelujah. You are so amazing, Jesus. You are so kind. You're so joyful. You're so loved. You're the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. But I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus, for who you are. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I just can't thank you enough. Amen. Amen. And if y'all are ready to have some church right now today, shout out hallelujah. Because that's, that's what exactly we're about to have. We better have some church. Are y'all ready? Amen. If you're ready, can you please turn your Bible to Leviticus chapter 19, and we're going to read verse 31. That's Leviticus chapter 19, and we're going to read verse 31. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Glory to God. <clears throat> Do not turn to mediums or seek out spirits, for you will be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. In today's messages, you cannot let everybody pray over you. You cannot let everybody try to anoint you. And the reason why is because witchcraft is real. A lot of you right now that don't believe that witchcraft is real. Witchcraft is real. And a lot of people right now today, they carry a lot of spirits on them. And some people carry the wrong spirits on them. But if you're not covered by the blood fully from head to toe, it doesn't take but a quick second for somebody to pour a spell on you, to put a root on you. That's why you got to be careful who you let pray over you. You got to be careful who you let anoint of you. You got to be careful who you let speak a word to you because a lot of people carry different spirits on them. And God especially tell every last one of us that we should test the spirit. Some of you right now today, you're playing with the spirits. You want to have fun with the spirits. You want to have communication with the spirits. God say test the spirit. Not play with them. Not have communication with them. Not give them high fives. But you got to test. Is this the right spirit? Is this the right person that you expect to pray over you? Because you can let the wrong person pray over you. And you don't know what kind of spirits they have on them. And they spirits can easily jump on you just like a whole bunch of ticks. And right now, I believe that's what exactly what's going on right now today. 
Some of you right now today, you got caught up with the wrong woman. And she may have the wrong spirit on her now. You can't get loose. You can't break chain. A lot of you right now today, you caught up with the wrong man. And you don't know what kind of spirits he had. Now you can't break loose for him. Now you don't know what's going on. You're going crazy. You're going haywire. And you wonder what's going on. It's because you was messing with the wrong spirit. Some of you right now today, you lay with the wrong woman. And that woman don't slept with this man, that man, that man. See what I mean? The spirit she got on her. Do you see what I mean? The demonic spirit she carrying. And the moment the moment that you sleep with her, you're carrying the same spirit that she gave you. And you're passing those spirits on. Spirits are real. A lot of you right now today, you want to call those little um hand-reading card people. Don't you know they ain't nothing but a, hunt, a bunch of hypocrites? Don't you know they ain't nothing but a whole bunch of liars? Don't you know the only thing they want for you is your money? They can tell you anything. They flip a card and they tell you, oh, on this day right here, you're going to get this. Oh, I see in your future. This is going to happen. They lying to you. The only person that was going to happen in your life is Jesus. He's the only person. He's the only person who's going to tell you about your life. How I know that? If you turn your Bible to Jeremiah 29, verse 11. What did his word say? I got a plan for every last one of his children. I plan for every last one of you to succeed and it will not harm you. That's what the word of God say, right? And that's what I hold on to. That's what I believe. There's no way I'm going to, to some kind of house and let, let a lady rub a crystal ball and try to tell me what God has already told me about because I know she's a fake. I know my heavenly father God is the real truth. So no, I'm not going to do that. Yes, I'm very particular who I let pray over me. Yes, I'm very choosy who I want to let in my house to speak a word of God because I got to know what kind of spirits you got on you. Some of you right now today, you got jungle gym spirits on you and you're not bringing that mess to my house. Point blank period. Because if your spirit ain't right, I know that you ain't right. So most of the time, when I'm around some people, my brothers and my sisters, I got to keep it real with you. If I'm quiet around some people, I know there's something wrong with him. I know there's something wrong with her. So I kind of stay back from him because if you ain't covered fully by the blood of Jesus, it don't take about a quick second for them to start talking to you and you start a conversation with them back and the next thing you know, the spirit's all on you. You got to know there's only one God. His name is Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Prince of Peace. He's the only God that you need to be worried about. He's the only God that you need to ask questions for. He's the only God who can tell you about your future. He's the only God who can tell you about your relationship. He's the only God who can tell you if you're on the right path or the wrong path. Quit going at these mediums. Quit going at these spirits. Quit talking to these terror people. And you need to start testing people's spirits these days. And stop playing with them. Stop conversating with them. And stop giving them high five. Because a lot of you right now today, you're being bamboozled by the wrong spirit. And you wonder why you're losing weight. You wonder why that you left a happy home. Just go be with somebody else. Because you was not prayed up. You was not covered by the blood fully. And when you're not prayed up, my sisters. When you're not prayed up, my brother. And when you're not covered by the blood fully. fully this right here can happen. A demonic spirit can jump on you. And when that demonic spirit jump on you. It has a hold on to you. And I know right now today that you want that spirit gone. And you don't know what's going on right now. You wonder where you at because you, you was on planet Earth. Now you're on planet Neptune somewhere. And you're trying to find your way back home. Now I know it's hard for you. I know it's difficult for you. But the main thing when I'm trying to get at, it's really not that hard, my brothers and my sisters. Have you ever cried out to God and said, God, I don't know what's going on, but something in my body don't feel right. Something in my spirit is not right. What is it? And God's going to speak to you. The Holy Spirit is going to say, you got caught up with the wrong spirit. That's what happened. Because the word of God tells us this. They say, do not turn to mediums or seek out. Spirit is. When you are seeking out spirits, don't you know they got spirits on them? If you mess with anybody that did with witchcraft, you have no you have no involvement with him or her. Point blank period. So when they tell you, let me read your palms, no, you can't touch my hand, sister. 
You have you got no being even touching my hand. These hands right here belong to Jesus. Jesus the only one who can read his hand. And he's telling me to trust him and hold his hand. So that's the only thing I'm doing with this hand. I'm trusting him and I'm holding his hand. There's no way that you're going to hold my hand and read some of my hand that I know is not right. There's no way I'm going to let you hold my hand to read something that I know is all make-believe. There's no way I'm going to let you hold my hand to read something to tell me a lie so you can get in my pocket and steal my money. The devil is a lie. Today he is. That's why you got to be careful who you let pray over you. A lot of you don't realize right now today, witchcraft is real. There's a lot of people right now today that's under their witchcraft spirit right now today. But we're going to pray before this service ends right now. And I believe that every demonic spirit, stronghold, that's against my sister and my brothers right now today, will and shall be removed right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind, I curse every spirit that's been choking, that's been holding, that's got a grip on my sister and my brothers right now today. Spirit, get away from him. Spirit, get away from him. You have no place in their life no more. They are cured right now today. They are free by the blood of Jesus. And I'm praying for I'm praying for favor right now. And I'm praying for release right now. Enemy, you don't have your way. Enemy, you don't have your time with my, my brothers and my sisters. But today, they are set free by the blood of Jesus. Every curse, every demonic spirit, I bind them, I crush them, and I set them on fire right now. Glory, hallelujah, help me with this, Jesus. They are free right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know who's going through this right now today. I don't know who's dealing with this right now today. But that spirit that you had on you. That curse that you had on you. That demonic spirit that you had on you. It is gone by the blood of Jesus right now today. You are healed by Jesus stripes right now, my brothers. You are healed by Jesus stripes right now, my sisters. You are healed. You are curse free. Right now. And I need all my brothers. I need all my sisters. Right now today around the world. I don't know who I'm talking to right now. I don't know who I'm preaching to right now. I need y'all to pray. For the ones. Who's involved with this witchcraft stuff. Who's been involved in this demonic spirit stuff. Who's had a curse on them. And you know it. And you need help. And you know you need help. We all need to come together and pray. To rebuke and remove that witchcraft. That's over our follow that's over our fellow brothers and over our fellow sisters. There's too many people that went down in the pit of hell following the wrong spirit or got involved with the wrong spirit is. You gotta start testing these people's spirits right now. You cannot let everybody come in your house and start anointing your house because you don't know what kind of spirit they bring to your house. That's why your house had to be covered by the blood of Jesus, first of all. If your house is not covered by the blood of Jesus and you bring the wrong menace or you bring the wrong whoever to your house trying to anoint your house, you don't know what kind of spirit they bring in your house. Next thing you know, your cabinet's open. Next thing you know, your glass is coming out. Next thing you know, you acting crazy. The, the husband acting crazy. The kids acting crazy. Next thing you know, your cat's doing some cartwheels. Or your dog's uh, flipping out. Because you let the wrong spirit is in your house. You let the wrong medium in your house. You cannot let them come in your house do no kind of exorcist or none of that. They got to be sent by God. They got to be sent by God. And you need to ask God right now today, God, did you send this brother to me? God, did you send this sister to me? And the Holy Spirit is going to give you an answer. It ain't going to be no loud answer. He's going to either say yes or no. If you say yes, you know it's coming, you know it's from God. If you say no, you better get that brother and sister at your house. You better tell that brother and my sister, I never mind, I don't need you to pray for me. I'm already prayed up. I know who God is. I have a relationship with him. I know what he's going to do for me. I don't need you to read my hand. I don't need you to tell my story. I don't need you to come in here and my house. I don't need you to lay hands on me. And no, I need you for you to pray for me. I am good. You have to start saying that. Because this witchcraft thing is getting, it's, 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 really, it's really out there. And I know a lot of ministers and don't preach on this subject. But I was led to this, this afternoon, my sister and my brother, to preach this service tonight. So I'm so thankful that I'm able that somebody asked me to do it. And, and God is speaking to me right now today to let somebody know that you got to pray 
for your fellow brothers and my sisters because somebody's under is under a real demonic spell. And we got to remove that spell right now today. We got to come together with prayer because prayer changes things. Prayer can 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 break that curse right now today. Amen. Amen. So can y'all just join me in prayer right now? And so this curse can be removed right now today. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I come into your name right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I know there's some fellow brothers of mine, and I know there's some fellow sisters of mine right now today, Father God. That's a fun of this spell. That's a fun of this curse right now. But Father God, I come in your name right now today that you will bind every curse, every demonic spirit right now, Father God, that you will crush every head of the wicked, of the enemy right now, that my brothers and my fellow sisters should be set free right now today, Father God. Father God, I believe that every demonic spirit right now, Right now today in every stronghold against my brothers or against my sisters has been removed from them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe that, that you're about to re release them right now. I believe, Father God, that you're about to speak to them right now. I believe right now, Father God, that you're about to touch them, that you're about to heal them, Father God. I believe they're about to be rescued right now by your name, Jesus. And we give you the thanks for it right now. And we give you the praise for it right now. And we give you the glory for it right now. Oh, him and Father God, they've been in this in that demonic spell for quite some time. Some of them right now today, Father God, don't even know who they are right now. They've been gone. They've been lost for so long, God. But through your words today and through your prayers and through your messages, Father God, they're going to have a clear mind right now today. They're going to understand everything what you're about to do in their life, Father God, because you're about to do a new thing, God, because they forgot about the past. They forgot about the former thing. Now you are stepping in right now, God, according to your word in the book of Isaiah 43, that, Father God, your word said that you're going to do a new thing. And I believe that the past is gone today. That the mighty spirit is gone today. That witchcraft that was on, was on them is gone today. That stronghold was on their life is gone today. They are covered by the blood of Jesus right here. They are covered right now. They are healed by your stripes, Jesus. And I believe and declare they will never return back to their witchcraft stuff again. I believe and I declare right now today they will never go back to a medium again. I believe and declare right now today they're going to start testing the spirit. They're going to start testing people's spirit. Father God, thank you because your will has been done today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the release and thank you for the favor. And if you know that this word is for you, I want you to give Jesus the thanks for it right now. I want you to give Jesus the praise for it right now. Glory, hallelujah. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today by us praying this simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is with us.alt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always praise him. Always exalt his holy name. Continue to pray for your fellow brothers. Continue to pray for your fellow sisters. It doesn't matter if you know him or not. If you're a part of Jesus, we pray for one another. That's what we do in Christ. That's what we do in unity. We pray for one another. We help each other. We gotta be we gotta be there for each other because we all need help in some kind of way. We all need prayer in some kind of way. There's some brothers and sisters right now today that's crying out for, for help. They crying out for prayer. Just don't be selfish. It's not all about you sometimes. Sometimes you gotta say, you know what, I gotta pray for my fellow brother. I gotta pray for my fellow sisters. That's what we do. So I believe that today, on this subject today about this witchcraft, that we all will come together in unity. We're going to pray for our fellow brothers. We're going to pray for our fellow sisters that this demonic spirit be removed from every last one. They be removed from their house, from their marriages, from their children, from their husband, from their wife, or whatever demonic spirit they had a hold on. But they are cured. They are free today. Amen? <clears throat> Amen. This servant ALT, I want to say I love y'all. Y'all guys continue to pray for me. I'm going to always going to continue to pray for y'all. And y'all always, always want to let you know how thankful and grateful and honored and blessed I am. For y'all guys to always take y'all time out of y'all busy schedule to always listen to another word. Thank y'all. It's because of you guys. That's why Jesus' ministry is still on air. So, Jesus pleased with y'all. I am pleased with y'all. That is your servant, LT. I love y'all. That's anything that I can do for y'all. Y'all please let me know. Y'all stay blessed. Amen. <laughs>